soaking up the atmosphere. He'll be taking all this here. Ooh. He feels that. When that bass hits, yeah, you feel that in you. Feel like inside my core. This is very good. So last time we were in the Copper Box, which is obviously in London. Now we're in Manchester, an arena that's twice the size. Yeah, this is a different to feel different the last time. Like what do you think of the shape we're seeing Ham go in there? Ah, he looks, looks good. Oh, sorry, Drizzy. I mean, he looks good. He looks like, obviously, he's carrying power. Um, going against a much heavier guy, so he's going to need that. Jeremy looks switched on there. He looks like he's taking this seriously. He's looking very serious, isn't he? Yeah. That haircut is I the I guarantee this is going to be an interesting <laughs> intro. Now, <laughs> his opponent, please welcome to the ring, Hello! He said it, and here it is. This kid's a character. He's wearing a Versace train. He doesn't mess about. Joe, you're a fan of WWE. Yep. This is as close as you're going to get the whole night to that. <laughs> he's got 63,000 subscribers on YouTube, this lad. And he's coming to make a name for himself. And he's coming in at five foot seven. I'll take a little pause there, just a few fist drops to the guys walking down the side. He's getting a bit tired there. Yeah. You've got to keep that energy when you're in the ring as well. It can't just be the ring walk that gasses you no, out, no, You've right? got to be zen, man. You've got to be zen. You've got, I mean, put it to this way. To be a boxer, you've got to be able to walk to the ring. You know what I mean? mean? Very different entrances. This Halal Hab is soaking it in. He's having a little dance. I like his glasses. Yeah. I was just about to comment on the glasses. Oh, it turns around to the crowd. Oh, he's milking it. He he's is a milk. showman. Yeah. How does he come up with it? I like the shots, the gold on the shots, I like that. No one to open the ropes for him though, you'll notice he, he's a very, uh, oh wow, a few words in his opponent's face there. It's all going to get very real very quickly in a minute, that's yeah. the thing. It's yeah. all a big show, but once our bell goes, the glasses are off mate. The glasses are off. And the glasses are still on at the moment. I hope he does take them off for the fight, because otherwise that first punch is going to be a real nasty one. <laughs> the glasses have come off, just so you guys know. You can, as you can see there, the chain also is removed. I like that chain. That is a nice chain, isn't it? Two boxers, both dressed very well. Headgear is about to go on. How different did it feel, Joe, when you were there and you were getting ready? Do you think the garb, the stuff that you're wearing out there in the ring makes a difference, makes you feel like a big man? Yeah, I mean, I, well, I, I do believe that if you feel like you're looking and, you know, you're presenting yourself like a fighter and how you want to, that it's going to impact how you feel. So you can see both these guys, they've gone all out with their outfits. You know, the Versace print on Halal Ham, you know? Joe, you're quite a fashionista from what I can tell oh, you. You're, oh, able to, you're able to pick off all I'm these things. I'm wondering labels. how we afforded that with 65k souls. That's amazing. <laughs> Having a little. Yeah, I, I like the look of the man. He's got that referee haircut. Lawrence has got a lovely way about him. He's got. I've, so I've heard behind the scenes, Brian. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you can see both teams buzzing around their fighter at the moment still. It's as if they should have done this. I'm really interested to see how um, how Ham looks if he rolls back the years. Tension between two. The referee just gives them some final few words. He's saying, listen to me this evening. This one doesn't look like a friendly anymore, does it? Very much in the zone now. Yeah. The coaches would have said some last minute pointers just so it's fresh in their mind. Like, keep moving, keep the jab going. Just last minute thing so it's fresh. Yeah. Did that help you, do you think? <laughs> No, well, I'm not being sarcastic when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Yeah, Second out. Out. Early on there, Halal with a few punches to the torso. Halal going in early. <laughs> Technically <laughs> looking a bit rough, <laughs> bit ready. <laughs> Jeremy. You can see the power on the two of them, though, can't you? Getting a lot of instructions early. Ham going for a body shot. Jeremy answers. Gets the respect there. Mm. Bit of hesitation there. Yeah. Last time we saw a lot uh, early on in the fights, but we saw a lot about footwork as well, didn't we? How important that was. One fighter here, much more significant with the amount of footwork you see. 
palm looking heavy on his feet. That's good from Jeremy. Jeremy's looking much more aggressive here, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of body shot work from um, Harm there, but it doesn't really seem to be doing a great deal. Joe, could you hear the words of your trainer from the side of the ring? Nothing. I down? heard absolutely nothing. Because on the commentary here, we can see we can hear a lot of encouraging yep. shouts from the, the trainers, who obviously got emotional investment in these guys. Yep. But it's really just going to be to make them feel better almost themselves. Yeah, I mean, obviously, naturally, as a coach, I would have thought they're just trying to give as much as they can. Stars around the ring are being able to take their seats. We've just seen... Um, Chris MD there. Chris MD the down the side. The babyface assassin himself. Yeah. And, of course, Alfie Days as well. Controversial star in the YouTube community, Alfie. I almost said something then. Uh, you're seeing uh, slow-mo replays of, of these two guys. Who do you think had the better of the first round there, True Geordie, if you were, if you were one of the judges? I would edge it to Jeremy, to be honest with you, but okay. um, the pressure of Ham did start to pay off towards the end a little bit. Uh, I'm surprised. I thought Ham would be a bit more technical from his boxing days. Uh, um, he just seems to be winging it a bit. Yeah. I mean, it looks like he's holding like a nice, like quite a uh, tight, nice guard. But the punches, when he goes to throw them, it's more of just a smother. Yeah, there's no... Do you know what I mean? It's not he's, he's planning anything, really. Yeah. He's just walking towards them and yeah. throwing. Getting those basics right is important, though. 100%. Like Otherwise, if, if you drop your guard at any moment, you may be... Oh! oh. Not by ham, overhand right. Saw the sweat fly off his cranium there. So what a Another... Oh, and ham's going... It's an onslaught! He turned his back to him there to protect himself. He needed to at that point. Ham's no showing what he's made of now. The referee saying... No turning around, please, because that technically in boxing, you're not really supposed to do Face your opponent. Ooh, a big right fist landed on the side of Bad intentions from home. Oh. There are three big right hands that have been landed on the side of Ham's head there. Taking a breather, the lads here. Gathering it. Oh. Ham, left, right. He's chasing him down. He's really putting it on him. He's took a knee. I don't think he meant to do that there. And he's getting a standing count. I think that Ham hard looks, shot. Ham looks like he's getting aggressive now. He smells uh, a bit of weakness. Ham can't wait to get back in there. As soon as the referee steps away, yeah, yeah. look at him. That mane of hair peeking out the top of his mask. Oh, oh good oh, shot! Landed a Drop Jeremy! Oof. And Ham doesn't seem to have recovered straight oh. away there. Stiff left hand from Jeremy there. are not up for the lads. This is, it, it's insane. And as you begin to get dazed, you will begin to drop your hands. Your oh technique yeah. goes, doesn't it? Yeah. We're going to see that a lot early There's on in no this There's no technique fights. being shown here whatsoever. It's all hot. <laughs> They're just knackered, bless them. Are both of them realising here what they've got themselves <laughs> into? Oh, it's overhand right from him. Getting the body shots in. Just trying to impose his will on Jeremy. Mm. Jeremy staggers back and breathes heavy. End of round two. I do feel like Ham was coming into his own there. He was sort of almost sensed that I think one of those big overhand rights had, had affected Jeremy and was going in for the well, kill. That but 50 pounds comes in handy. 100%. But then, like we saw as well, it was his cardio almost gone after that. <laughs> Yeah. Possibly, and I, I think he got overconfident. He almost yeah. thought the fight was over, and then when when he came back in, Jeremy landed a big punch on him, didn't yeah. he? And it took him off guard. It was a good job from Jeremy, if I remember correctly. He just walked him right into it. Mm. I mean, he's chasing him, there, yeah, isn't he? They, but all it takes is one when you're r running at someone that wildly, and that was it. The jab straight to the chin. <laughs> this is chaos, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. Joe, as, a, as someone who's trained in boxing, yep. we will see the the, um, the expertise go up throughout the evening. But these guys are brave to get in here in the first place, aren't they? Hundred percent. I think that's that's the biggest thing to have the bottle to stand in front of all these people and do what these guys are doing. Like you've got to respect it. A hundred percent. Third and final round. Right. Wow. Who's going to make a name for themselves? Good question. Round two, round three. I think it's round three. That graphic was wrong. Um, looks set to wade in once again with those big swinging punches. Jeremy deals with it well the first time. When Ham goes for his punches, he is leaving himself quite open, oh, though. As if Jeremy can exploit he's that. He's windmilling, mate. Yeah. 
but it's worth it to some extent. Well, the worry, I suppose, is if he does land any of those and you're only countering them, there's nothing else, no power you can get into. Yeah. They're both good. Coaches encouraging them to the final jump. round. I feel like we need to see a bit more from both. Uh, you're and here we go. There, yeah. going for it. Jeremy's holding on to him. Jeremy's talking to the referee now. They're, they're exhausted here, lads. Yeah. They're out on their feet, really, aren't they? Poor guys. I'm looking to make one count. And he does. Right, left, right. All the hooks. Push Jeremy pushes him off. Jeremy doesn't, doesn't look like he wants this anymore. To be nah, it, it looks like he, he's, he's had enough, yeah, I'll be Ham's honest. Yeah, coming straight forward. He's not landing much, but Ham's definitely the yeah. aggressor here. Yeah. It looks like there's a problem with Jeremy's head guard as well at this point. He, he does seem to be complaining about it, trying to adjust it. I do feel like Jeremy's had enough. Yeah, it's basically punched off him, isn't it? Joe, you've got your arms crossed. Have you seen enough? I mean, I, the way I'm seeing Jeremy look at the floor, he's not coming forward, he's physically walking backwards. Um, I don't know. Some body shots landed there, again from Hal Alham. It, it seems mainly uh, true, Jordi, that uh, Ham has basically edged this because he's got slightly more experience and slightly more stamina at this point. Yeah, he's, he's surprisingly coming straight ahead. Look how laid back he is there yep. in the yeah. corner of the ring. <laughs> just There's an almost there. arrogance the way that he's standing there for, for an amateur boxer, really, isn't it? I like that. I applaud that. A bit yeah. of showmanship. Yeah. This, this is it. Oh. He's going. He's windmilling. Jeremy trying to hold on, and it's all over. End of round three. Surely Ham won that one. Yeah, but that, that's the thoughts of True Geordie there, alongside Joe Weller. Joe. What are you thinking, Joe? I mean, I think we saw, like you just said, the experience of Ham come through towards the end. It shunned through. Once he connected a couple of times, I feel like it just, it was almost as though Jeremy's not really felt power like that. It completely threw him off, if anything. Yeah. He didn't want to be there. He didn't want it anymore. And, uh, yeah, for me, Ham takes that one. We're seeing the importance here of a sparring partner who's going to push you to the array edge. Correct. Yeah. Indeed. And maybe... I just think um, sometimes you can get in there and realise maybe he made a mistake. Do you know what I mean? It felt a bit like that. Very good point. Well, uh, throughout the night, we're going to see True Geordie talking to the winner of the fight. Uh, we're about to hear the result as well. The referee stands in the middle. And he's going to welcome both fighters back to the center of the ring in just a second. Both of them just getting their head guard off, getting a little breather before the result is announced. We think we know which way this one's going to go, don't we? Yes. I mean, the boys are it's good to see they're having a little hug afterwards. A bit of respect between After the two everything, teams. that's what it's about. It's lovely. Lovely. And the crowd applause. There's a warm smattering. That's almost a golf clap, isn't it? Now, yeah. so as if as if the ball just landed. I was thinking cricket. Cricket, yeah, yeah. It ripples around the arena, doesn't it? It's lovely.